Hey y'all! So I've been having some recent troubles in the garden and I figured I'm gonna do a lot of garden maintenance things today so I might as well take everybody along and show you what I'm about to do. So let's get started. start with my plants in the back today just because it's like easy peasy so I'd rather just get it out of the way right now. Deadheading to do. Uh, I just want to try to see if I can clean up these weeds. Um, I've got some dead stuff coming here that can be cleaned up but on the bright side these impatients look amazing. I was saying in my last video about how my dog trampled on my salvia so I'm gonna get that trimmed up and clean up all of this ivy because it is the death of me. All right, it looks a little bare now, but I am much happier with that than what it looked like before. And if I do get tired of it, I'll just pop some more annuals in there. <laughs> I'm not above it. Okay, much happier with that, ready to move on to a serious problem, which would be my service berry. Earlier I said I thought my service berry had rust. I think that was in like March or April. And now I'm kind of like, is this rust and scorch, or is this what rust looks like full blast? Because I feel like it does this every year. Like, after I get my um, service berry harvest, like, something happens to the leaves, and then they all drop off. So if you could just help me out by telling me what's happening, I would love that. Okay, I'm going to attempt to get all of these weeds today I hope okay I just pulled a squash vine borer out of my squash plant and so I really thought I got all the eggs I've been like watching like a hawk but apparently missed them that's where I pulled them out of I opened it up saw them crawling up in the inside of course this plant was doing so well, but this is how you know, like, see how it's yellow there? Everything um, started dying, which everything was fine before, and every, now they're, the flowers are really struggling. That is classic sign that something is wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and check the rest of my plant, but just so everybody else knows, beware. They are here. <laughs> On the bottom of the leaf, this is a hole, more eggs, and I bet it's in there. Let's find out. Found it. Little baby. Little baby gun. Ruining my life. Big fat one. Already ruined it. Okay, so instead of getting upset about all of the squash vine borers, I'm just gonna plant more seeds. I'm gonna plant more seeds because it's no use in getting upset. It's mid-July, and I'm just going to cross my fingers and hope that they grow fast, because... And then if these plants don't die, because I hope I got them all, then I'll just have lots and lots of squash. So now I'm going to go check on my other squash, because I basically spent the entire morning picking squash vine borers out of my vines. So you can imagine how happy I am right now. I already had to cut off this entire piece of plant because it got right in the base here um, and now I just found one right in here well you can't see because of the sun okay so I just finished with the whole squash vine borer issue and basically all of my zucchini and um, different squash plants are decimated um, let me show you this little baby got basically torn in half so it's other half is over here. This baby got sliced and diced. And all its pieces are over there. This one was not really bad. I found two in there, but I picked them out. 
and this one was also not bad. I just found one and a couple of eggs. Ay, ay, ay. So now I'm going to go harvest some kale so I can fit the little trellis in for the melons. So I figured while I'm at it, I might as well go ahead and get my red bell peppers in the ground. The seeds got started a little late this year, but I'm thinking they'll be fine. By thinking, I mean like, God, I hope they're fine. Some biotone, some garden tone, get these peppers in. Okay, so I'm trying to find out what's going on with my arbivite. This arb, nice and green, right? Look at this one. It's dying and I have no idea why. And like, listen to this, the way it sounds. It's like dry, but the moisture meter says it's wet. So I'm wondering if this is like is this root rot? Should I take it out and repot it? Is there a bug? Like what? What did I do? Is it too hot? Because it gets full blasting sun right here and it's been like 90 degrees the last two days. And that's when I noticed this. I noticed this yesterday. 
because when I did my garden tour the very last day of June, it did not look like this at all. So, help. That's about all I have the energy to do today. Before I go, I want to show you this mammoth sunflower. It's taller than I am. <laughs> and this corn, just because it's also right here. Look at this corn coming in. I'm so happy because I was like, we're definitely not getting corn. This stuff was not planted the right way. We will see. Okay, that's all for now. See you in the next one.